Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Photoshop scripting quick tip tutorial. This one was recommended by some people on our Discord server and that is how to resize documents and layers. Now we're going to be using this document here and this script we're going to be creating will take the documents width and make that the documents height and it will take the documents height and make that the width. Additionally, we'll take this black rectangular layer and we'll size it up 200%. And when I run this in Adobe Photoshop, I have an alert that tells me the width of my document is 1500 and the height is 2100 and then it's going to run those operations and it's going to switch the width and the height as well as scale up this layer. So very simple but very useful for a lot of automation. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel and down in the description you can check out this simple code. Link for that is in the GitHub URL where you can also follow us for coding updates and also down there in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas like the one uh, we're going over today, and also hang out with a lot of our intelligent and helpful members. And also you can help support us in the description of this video by becoming a YouTube member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, all of which comes with really cool perks. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need is a reference to our open document. So I'll say var doc is equal to our app.active document. And for those of you who are new to Photoshop scripting, we simply refer to app to say the application and active document to get whatever document is open currently. So we know that that's this guy right here. We also want to grab a reference to this layer. Uh, which has a rectangle in it and we want to have a variable for a layer so we'll save our layer and the reason we want to do that is so we can make modifications to it so the way we get the very first layer here is by saying our document or doc dot layers and we need to grab index zero this is the very first layer if we wanted layer two we'd grab index one etc because it's an array of layers it starts at zero and in order to get the first one we say zero and if you want to double check that these are working, you can say alert doc.name and alert layer.name. If I go ahead and say F1 and run this in Photoshop, hit yes to uh, use no warnings, we get untitled one as the name of our doc and rectangle one as the name of our layer, which is accurate. Now I'm going to replace this first array. I want to grab my doc.width and I'll create another one and grab my document.height. I want to make sure that I'm able to read these. So we'll run this. So we'll run this and we'll get 1500 pixels as the width and 2100 pixels as the height. Now let's use a built-in function called resize canvas. What we need to say is grab a document and say resize canvas. Now there are three arguments. You don't have to give them all though. We need to give it the new width we're going to resize it to and the new height we're going to resize it to. You can also give it anchor information to set a new anchor point, but in this simplistic example, we're going to just use the width and the height. So if I wanted to set it to something specific, we could maybe create a 100 by 100 document. If I go ahead and run this, you can see we now have a tiny document and the black uh, rectangle here is just covering the entire thing. So that's how we can resize our canvas. Now let's set it up to swap the width and the height. Very simply, for the width, we'll give it doc.height, and for the uh, height, we'll give it doc.width. This will allow us to simply swap the aspect ratio. And when we run it, you can see we simply swap it. Now lastly, let's take our layer variable, which represents this black rectangle layer, and resize it. Instead of saying resize canvas, we're simply going to say resize. Now when we're resizing a layer, we don't give it the specific dimensions we want to change it to. We don't say we want a 100 by 100 square. We need to give it a multiplier. If we set it to 100 and 100 for the width and the height, this is going to keep it at the exact same uh, scale. If you're familiar with After Effects or Premiere, this is the standard default scale of any layer as well. And when we run it, you can see nothing happens in terms of the size of our square here. So what we can do is if we want to double the size of it, we can change it to 200 for the width and 200 for the height. 
And when we execute this, you can see now we're going to properly resize it. And that's pretty much it. You can also use resize in many other types of objects in Photoshop. So if you need to resize something, you probably can use a resize method. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out this simple code in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates. And in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas like this one today, as well as hang out with a lot of our knowledgeable and helpful members. And if you'd like to become one of those members and get cool perks at the same time while supporting us financially on YouTube, link for that is in the description. You can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Thanks again for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.